Hi there, how are you doing? Mr. Knight here, and cabin fever and crippling loneliness definitely haven't set in yet. So that's a good thing. Or maybe they have, I don't know. Uh, so we're going to continue talking about photography today, and I'm going to give you your next technique that you can uh, work on in your own free time. So today we're going to be talking about the difference between a balanced and an unbalanced photo. So when I think about a good photo, um, I think that a photo has more value the longer somebody looks at it. So by using a balanced photo, what we want to do is we want to give our audience uh, a lot to look at without the photo being busy and chaotic and overwhelming. So when we're looking at a balanced photo, that means we want to have typically some sort of subject in the foreground, but also we want to balance out that photo with some other things in the background, which gives our eyes a little bit more to look at. It allows our eyes to sort of jump around the photo and look at all the different features. So that means sometimes we're going to have our subject in the foreground, and we're going to have some features in the background as well to balance out that photo so that there's not just empty space that isn't serving any sort of purpose. So if we took a balanced photo and uh, we put a pole right in the middle of that photo and we pretend that the subjects within that photo have actual weight, then our photo would be able to stay completely level. Now if we put an imaginary pole in the center of an unbalanced photo, that photo would definitely tip to one side. Now an unbalanced photo has a very, very different feel to it. It has a very different goal from the photographer. Typically when we have an unbalanced photo, uh, the photographer is trying to communicate a sense of emptiness, of loneliness, of minimalism. That's the goal of a unbalanced photo. So I'm going to encourage you to take some pictures around your house or your backyard and you can send them to me using the chat feature. If you don't have any access to uh, a device with a camera, maybe just ask a parent very, very nicely and maybe they'll let you use theirs for just a couple of minutes to take a few photos. Or you can see if there's a tablet around your house or a, uh, a computer that has a webcam function. And if you don't have any access to a camera whatsoever, please send me a message and, uh, and we'll resolve that as soon as possible. So we'll see you later. That, I don't know why I did that. That was stupid.